was when they stumbled across a beehive. Now, that wasn't every day, okay? And honey was protected by bees, so you couldn't get it every day, but humans would go at great risks to get that. So, essentially, this was the only time in the Paleolithic environment where we really had huge amounts, and even if we ate fruit, it would look more like that rather than bang, okay? So, there's a different, different effect on blood sugar. So, we've woken up in the morning, let's say this is 6.30, and we've had that high refined uh, cereal, which has elevated our blood sugar. We get in our car, we're not exactly being chased by a hungry lion to burn this off, yeah? It just sits there in our body. So, obviously, our muscles, uh, the glycogen stores in our muscle, the, the glucose in our liver, we don't need extra glucose, yeah? We're not being chased by the hungry tire. Tiger. So essentially, we will be more uh, prominent to store that as body fat. Okay, simple as that. So essentially, to lose body fat, you really do need to manage your blood sugar. Okay, how do you manage blood sugar? Well, you guessed it, you manage the amount of refined carbohydrates you eat. So cut out all the white stuff, in other words. Yeah, white bread, grains, all that other stuff. Uh, okay, I haven't covered all these points. So, a really easy way to do it, and I guess a, a quote-unquote meal plan, is with each meal, you want to pick a protein. Now, how do I define protein? Protein, I think, quality protein. And by the way, I'm, I'm, some people get a, a misinterpret when I talk about things like this. I'm not an advocate of, you know, factory farming or anything like that. I'm also not, definitely not a vegan. But I do encourage you all to go out and source the meat as high quality as you can afford. Okay, so if you can afford the organic meats and the better cuts like, uh, you know, kangaroo meat and all these other things, because kangaroo is obviously game, game is fantastic for you. If you can afford free-range eggs, if you can afford free-range chicken, I absolutely encourage you to go do that, okay? But essentially, you want to pick a protein, a quality protein source, okay? A quality protein source is not a protein shake. It's not a food product. It is an, uh, essentially something that was hunted or fished. You all got it? The other caveat is I'll make is on um, fish, so if you are going to get fish, one thing I would strongly recommend that you all do is buy fish from Australia and also buy smaller fish so you don't buy things like tuna and you don't buy things like shark or swordfish. The reason why, does anyone know the reason why I make those recommendations? Do you want to yell it out? Mercury, exactly right. Mercury is the reason. So um, to avoid a heavy metal toxicity issue, uh, I mean, it won't kill you if you have it, say, once a week or twice a week, but if you're having it every single day, which is what a lot of young guys do, I see it a lot of times, because it's cheap, it's easy, um, they eat a whole lot of tuna to get bigger, well, you also, and I, I can tell you firsthand, I've had my, you know, mercury tested and all that, back in the day, I was every single day, tuna, 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 tuna. My mercury, I've done a few detoxes, it's lower than what it was, but it's still there, yeah? So, to avoid going through a whole detoxification phase later in life, you know, don't eat as much tuna and don't eat as much shark. Especially things like whale, which the Japanese love. Uh, you know, <laughs> definitely don't eat any whale any, ever. You, know, you, you don't need to eat that. It's also bad for the environment. Um, pick a green. Pretty basic. So you've got your protein, you've got your green. So let's just say, you know, uh, one thing that I recommend uh, to make it easy on you guys to eat more vegetables is frozen greens. Okay, you can just go to your Coles, Safeway, wherever your supermarket is, and buy a whole bunch of frozen green vegetables don't make for one meal, yeah? Because if you make for one meal, you're going to be constantly making meals if you want to eat more and, and put on some lean mass. So essentially, get all your frozen veggies, put it in a big pot, put some hot water in it, you know, boil them up and keep them in the fridge, okay? And the best Tupperware that you can get isn't actually Tupperware. It's things like uh, ceramic pots or glass. If you can get glass, that type of thing. So you avoid the, the plasticity um, crossover when you're boiling things. Because obviously, if you've got hot vegetables and you put it in a plastic container, the plastic can leach onto the vegetables, yeah? So to avoid any, again, toxicity issues like BPA. BPA is uh, bisphenol A, is a compound that's found in all pla or most plastics um, that can transfer over to the food. You want to avoid that because it's actually an estrogen uh, by nature. It's a, 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 what you call a xenoestrogen or an estrogen mimicking compound. So you don't want to lower your testosterone, guys. Yeah, you want to keep that high. So you pick a green. Then, you, then it's about managing your carbs and fats. So a lot of people, uh, you know, saturated fat, for example, has a lot of bad rap. You know, everyone, you talk about saturated fat, oh, you want to avoid fat, you know, you don't have any fat. That's not entirely true. If you can get um, really high quality fats, like uh, avocado, coconut oil, organic butter, that's one thing that's very important to buy organic, a high quality olive oil, these things are very, very nourishing. And by the way, you're not going to, and that's the other thing with Westinator Price I was talking about before, 
he called, you know, in, in, he actually looked at every tribe and he found that the ones that had the highest, uh, he sam used, got the butter, he analyzed the butter, and the ones that had the highest nutritional content in the butter were often the healthier cultures, okay? So butter has been around for centuries. It is a superfood. Don't be scared of butter, you know, cooking with it. I'm not saying, you know, get teaspoons and shove it in your mouth, yeah? But you can cook with butter, okay? Coconut oil is also very healing. You know, you want to mix and match depending on what you're cooking with, yeah? If you're cooking, let's say, minced meat, you might use coconut oil. If you're cooking fish, olive oil might suit that dish better. But don't be scared of your fats. The fats that you do want to 100% avoid and get rid of, if you go home to your, your mum's house, go to your dad's house, even at your home, girlfriends, whoever it is, if you see margarine or canola oil, just chuck it in the bin. Yeah, That's the best place for it. They're the poisonous fats. And especially when I do a lot of body fat testing, I do a lot of body fat testing. Actually, I do biosignature testing. When I do that, I can always tell the people who have a high amount of uh, canola oil in their diet because their fat is a lot harder. Okay, So... You definitely want to reduce those, or not reduce, cut them out all, all entirely. Get the proper fats in your diet. They're very, very healing, very, very important. Now, I was talking before to someone about a ketosis diet. Essentially, there are two main type of, uh, I guess, genotypes, if you will. There's what you would call a carb type. Actually, I'll write it here on a different page. There's a carb type. A fat type, or another way to say it, a carb type would be a slow oxidizer, and a uh, fat type would be a fast oxidizer. So essentially all that means is, are you better suited to a slightly higher carb diet or are you better suited to a protein and fat diet, yeah? Um, general recommendation, you know, don't, if you're wanting to put on weight, you're gonna need to eat a mixture of both. If you're wanting to lose weight, you know, do lower your carbs a little bit. But the carbs that you absolutely want to include in your diet are fibrous carbs, which are again, your green vegetables, yeah? You, I mean, in nutrition, everything is debatable. Everything. Except for one thing. Eat green vegetables. But even then, that's debatable. Yeah? So, you, you want to make sure you're eating plenty of vegetables, regardless of whether you're a carb type or fat type. The carbs, generally, that I recommend people to eat, again, this is depending on how much carbs they can tolerate. Um, if someone was wanting to lose weight, pretty much for the first two weeks, I would suggest they stick to sweet potato and pumpkin until they're happy with how much body fat they've actually lost. Yeah, so lots of protein, lots of vegetables, sweet potato, pumpkin. As they get leaner, they might use things like rice, quinoa, and be a little bit more fancy with their carbs. Fats, again, very basic. The ones that, again, hunted fish gathered and plucked. If ever in doubt, just remember, hunted fish gathered and plucked. Uh, I always, this one thing that I do with my, the guys who I get ready for shows and that type of thing, as someone gets leaner, let's say they're, you know, 6% body fat, I increase their carbs. I want to know how much carbs they can get away with. So again, it's not about dropping all carbs entirely. If you're wanting to put on weight, you know, if you don't think you're big enough yet, obviously, you know, have your rice, sweet potato, pumpkin, plenty of protein, you know, again. But even for the guys who want to put on weight, that's not a license to eat shit, yeah? Because sugar eventually will make you insulin resistant, which is a bad thing. You want to be insulin sensitive. Uh, and portions, which is often a question I get. I used to give, you know, this is what you should do. And for some people who I don't want to think, so for people who, you know, paid me, I need to get a result in 12 weeks, let's say it's a competitor, I'll give that. But for you guys, eat enough. You know, if you're hungry, eat. Don't be anal and, and measure your food and all that type of thing. Eat enough protein so you're not hungry. Or you can go two to three hours or even four hours without having a, uh, you know, to binge on something or being so hungry that you need something to eat, yeah? Just to check in with everyone so far, are there any questions before I move on? If you want to get a mic. Uh, sorry, you mentioned genotypes, and that triggered mm -hmm. some biochemistry that I did at uni. Um, slow oxidizer, fast oxidizer. Uh, there's two genotypes. What's the dominance relationship there? Dominance? Um, okay, it doesn't matter. You use genotype. Well, I use, as, as I said, for a lack of a better word, genotype, I just meant more generally two types of, I guess, uh, diets, essentially, that people would eat, okay? Someone who tolerates carbs better and someone who doesn't tolerate carbs better. So in the case of that... Again, remember the example I gave was the Maori. Yeah. The Maori wouldn't tolerate carbs as well, and that's something that I've seen when doing body fat tests. Um, they don't tolerate carbs as well to get their optimal body fat composition, okay? Whereas someone who, let's say from you know, Swedish background, they will tolerate carbs a lot better, okay? I'm using that as an example, okay? So when I say uh, genotypes, it's just the differences in people, and even in, in races, you'll see differences in people. So I use that as a, as a broader term, if that makes sense. But can there be someone that's like a medium oxidizer? Yeah, okay, everything in physiology, great question. Everything in physiology is based on a continuum. 
Yeah? So you're going to have the extreme, you're going to have extremes on both sides, and then you're going to have the in-between. So that's why, for most people in the, wor in, in the room, this is why I recommend is they get, if, they, if there's body fat that needs to be lost, they lose the body fat, they get to a healthy weight, and then bring in the other carbs and the other foods. Because then they're going to say, oh, geez, you know, eating bread every day makes me fat.